Well, as we commemorate Black History Month, we're shedding light on mental health in the black community, in particular, black men. Yeah, we're now learning about the unique challenges they face when it comes to seeking mental health help and how they can gain more access to support. Inside the legislative office building in Hartford, a bustling lobby of chatty lawmakers with bills on their minds. But inside room 2C, something else is brewing. This is so big, it's hard to know where to start. These black mental health experts are leading a roundtable discussion about the obstacles facing black men when it comes to their mental health. Um, you get that stigma of being soft or not being a man or you, you don't have the ability to pull up your bootstraps and those are all misnomers. Take Kelvin Young. He began his healing journey while in prison after suffering with anxiety and depression for years and treating his stressors with drugs and alcohol. He's now 14 years sober after seeking help. And by stepping out of my comfort zone and utilizing practices like yoga and meditation and sound healing, it allowed that to be a vehicle for me to go within because I learned that true, authentic, sustainable healing begins with inside of ourselves. Another obstacle is the lack of therapists of color, says clinical psychologist Brett Rayford. He says 2% of therapists are black, much less men. Some of my work has been in training other practitioners who are not black to understand how to work across the color line, um, to understand what it means to be culturally competent. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the suicide rate among the black population between 2018 and 2021 increased by 19.2 percent. The quickest rise happened among those ages 10 to 24. Their rate of suicide increased by 36.6 percent. That last statistic is why Gay says educating young black men early about mental health services is key to change. Find someone in your life, a friend, a friend's parent, a teacher, someone who you trust who can help navigate you. Because if we can get you to break down the walls of your vulnerability to just start having a discussion, that might actually lead you to getting someone who can help you, who, who can truly help you deal, deal with whatever it is that you may be going through. Because we all need help. If you or someone you know is struggling, call or text the suicide hotline number at 988 to chat with a professional.